Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Rudermat Studios, and so in the last video we showed you how to uh, start a server and see how it changes on the developer portal. Now we're going to start a server, and we're going to use the server browser. So I'm going to start up a server via the uh, client here, or via exe. So, here we are. I'm going to start it up. And I'm going to hit start server, and the server is going to start with the cube there. And now over here, I'm going to press play. And since this server automatically registers on the web page whenever it starts up, when I go to the server browser, it'll appear here with the number of players, the game type, the name, and the password. Or not the password. There'll be a checkbox here if there's a password enabled. Uh, my screen is kind of small, so this isn't actually how it's supposed to look via UI-wise. I think if I do maximize on play, uh, oh, it's a little messed up. But it'll, it'll you have uh, access to this information here. I'm going to put it back to the way it was so I can see. Uh, so if I press join, it's going to start me and join me on that server. So now I'm on that server and everything is uh, being updated. So uh, that's the server browser. It's it just works whenever you register servers and load it up. Uh, if you open up the source code for the server browser, which is found inside of uh, the system, let me see. It's found inside of the Bitman Studios network scenes, and there's a server browser scene here. Uh, you can find that the code is in here. So we have a server manager list and various other things in here that you can browse through and uh, and learn all about. So if you have any questions, please let us know. We'll be happy to answer it. And uh, if you find any bugs or any or if you'd like some features, please let us know about that too. Uh, so until next time, I'll talk to you later.